Hi friends, in this video, we are going to see the use of use class inside provider. So as you know, we have the provider also in Angular uh, 2 plus versions and in latest versions also. Now, uh, to use this provider, we generally uh, provide it inside the module or inside component. We also write inside the any service file, inside any injectable also, we do write the provided in. So there, uh, if we uh, provide it in the module section, we generally or in a component, we generally uh, give the name only the name of the service file of the service class. Uh, we can also pass the use class thing. Right? Uh, we uh, we will have the use class, use existing, use factory, and use value. This four type of things are there. Uh, there is one another property also called multi. Uh, in going forward, the next videos uh, will be covering those sections. So today we'll check the use class. So as you can see in this screen, uh, uh, this is the let me show you uh, the use class basically. So let me open the app module first, and there we will have the we will have the use class like this. So as you can see, we have a service user service, and the, in this user service, it's basically simple one, simple service. Nothing. We have a getter and setter method. This one. Uh, we have a value default display, and then we have a getter method, and we have a setter method. So that's all from this user service and in, uh, in the uh, in routing section if i <coughs> show you i have home and contact these two components are loaded eagerly and this load children using this load children the about component will loaded as a la uh, laser model so this is the thing and now if i go to the app module i have imported this user service here and now I in the in the provider I would like I provide this token this is a token and this is the decorator object here I'm saying use class which class this is a service class to use right, so it will create one instance now whenever in the say in home component uh, I want to access the service I want to get the values from there so you will see Okay, let me open the home component here and using this on, on in it, I'm just doing user service dot get user is which is the data function, it will give me the age default is 10. Right, and in the view file, I'm just only printing it. So if I go, uh, you can see that home age is 10, so 10 is printing here. Right, in the contact page, also we have the same thing, so the contact age is 10. In about page, it's a module, laser loaded module. Here also I have the same thing. Now, if I click on add here and using the setter method, I update this 10 to 20. What will happen? It will become 20. Contact page, it will become 20, and in about page, it's become 20. Okay, because only in only one place in the main app module we have provided this. It's come to the laser loaded module that is the about module. So here we can also write something like the same which was which we have written in the app module. We have provided the user service as a token and use class the service name class name. So if I save this and I will go to the home page again. Let me refresh this. So it's 10, 10, and in 10 both all the pages. Now if I click on add adding it. In the home page in contact page also it gets added but in about it's the old one because there are the new instance it's not taking the instance from the home, home module it's a new one and so that's one use now suppose i need some extra feature uh, of this user service class uh, suppose I, I i created another class that is updated user uh, user service here i have the uh, updated user service class here here i just um, it's added one getter method this is giving me the age and setter method the same way but in this case i have added a text also before this so that we can see that uh, from which service we're getting the value so as you can see in, in about module only we have told that for this token use the new service form. And we'll call the function same function right now we will see what will happen in home page let me refresh 10 
contact ten in about you can see it's getting the different value now we are sure that it's got, uh, coming from the new service now if we update it let's come to contact update it now it's remaining the same here we are saying that instead of this uh, this class for this token basically use this class and in the component underlying component for this about module we, uh, this token has been used everywhere if i show you so you will see that uh, user service dot has been used not updated user service dot so this is the uh, very useful basically suppose you need to uh, extend some feature say probably uh, error handler from the angular you want to extend it or modify something you can do this using this easily so this is the use of the use class of provider so in, in next video we will see the use of use existing and then going forward we will see the other feature use chapter and use value so that's it for now thanks thank you for watching